So here we are making the cake Napoleon. First you will need to either make your own dough. Since it is complicated to make it yourself, you can buy this puff pastry frozen dough in any store. And you need three packages like this. Cut equal three pieces. And each one you have to roll it very thin. When you roll the dough, make sure you lay the dough on a baking dish and tap with a fork just like this. Then prepare the oven to 350. Bake each piece of dough like this for about 15 to 20 minutes until it becomes brown. You need to roll at least nine layers. The last layer on top will go for decoration and you put nine layers to bake, each for 15 minutes. This recipe is long but very worth it. The cake will be delicious at the end. The cream filling for the Napoleon cake will be done without any eggs. Here we are making the filling for the Napoleon cake. Add three big spoons of flour and three big spoons of potato starch. Pour inside some of the milk and try to make it liquidy. In the pot, add one and a half liters of milk, 2%. Bring the milk to boil. Mix with a spoon so it doesn't burn on the bottom. Mix this bowl and it doesn't stay still, it has to be liquid. And don't forget to mix lightly the milk so it doesn't burn at the end. It's very important. Wait until it cools. Here are the layers. Crispy and brown. You add into a bowl one pound of unsalted butter. Add one glass of sugar. Add two little packs of vanilla sugar. Mix with a spoon together.
take a hand mixer and slowly start adding the butter mix into the filling. The filling for the Napoleon cake is ready. This is the most important part for the Napoleon cake. On each layer, you put the filling right on top very gently. And when you are done to put the filling on one, you put the other layer on top again. The last layer, you crunch it up and it will be to sprinkle on top of the cake. The Napoleon cake is ready. Before serving it, you put it in the freezer for about a day or two, and then you can serve it. <laughs>